Hey guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge. Hope you're all well on this Sunday afternoon here. Really windy in my conservatory, so I'm sorry if you can hear the wind swirling about. We've got a bit of a hurricane or something going on here in the UK at the minute. I don't quite know, but this is going to be episode two of my pickups videos. So you saw last week, I called it episode one because it was my start of my new collection. And this is going to be episode two. So every Sunday I'm going to bring these out. Got about 20 films here. Really looking forward to this video because it's probably my most favourite month of pickups ever. Because I've got a lot of most favourite week, sorry, because I've got a lot of stuff from the US. I've got Scorpion releasing, um, Synapse films, Cauldron films, Grindhouse releasing, Blue Underground, uh, Scream Factory, all sorts really. So Really looking forward to this, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm starting to pick up a lot more US releases and stuff because I just find them better. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to start collecting again. And I'll start off with the first two I got from a friend of mine on here called uh, Stu Jeff Light Stuff Jeff Likes. And it's two films from Scorpion releasing. They don't deliver to the UK, so he picked me them up and sent me them across. And it is The Church... Wonderful edition from Scorpion releasing. It's a lot better than them horrible yellow case shameless version, uh, shameless entertainment versions we get in this country. Really love this film, Michelle Save. Uh, it's just the same inside, guys. Two disc set, beautiful set, beautiful slip cover, I think. Um, there's the back, guys. Special features on there, quite a few. So I got that one, and I got to go with it uh, another. Michelle Save film, The Sect, great film as well. These are very Dario Argento influenced because he was a producer on both of these. Save loved his work and um, so did everyone. But yeah, like I say, these two have got English releases on Shameless with the yellow cases, but I just think they look fantastic here with these nice slip covers. There is alternate artwork inside too, but really good additions. Like I say, you can't really get them delivered unless you go on ebay or something or you know someone with them but thanks jeff for that mate really appreciate it that's those two then i got one of my favorite films of all time on 4k I had to get it from the us as well hereditary on 4k worked out about 22 pounds so really looking forward to seeing this one in 4k I used to have it before on blu-ray but love this film uh, Ari Aster masterpiece. I also got another the other Ari Aster film, but I got this one from Italy. Midsummer 4K Italian version. I think this worked out about 16 17 pounds delivered from um, Amazon. No point even showing you unless any of you guys are Italian and can read it. But another great, um, great Ari Aster film. So them two look quite good together. I think you know really good then one of my favorite modern my favorite remake of all time and i haven't actually owned this version before i picked up evil dead um so this one includes the theatrical cut on the unrated version uh the most recent evil dead from i think what was it 2009 or something um so i've never actually watched the unrated version which is meant to be even more brutal so Got this off eBay for about, I don't know, 18, 19 pounds delivered. Which is really good from all that music. So I really look forward to this. I love, I can put this film on at any time. I love it. So I'm really happy with that. The nice thin cases from the US lot. Um, I could say we haven't had an unrated release in this country. Then I picked up for 29 pounds um, the 4K newest set from Second Sight, Dawn of the Dead. I uh, thought I'd get this one. I sold my uh, big set to um, Cadaver Club, Ben. And um, that's like 79 quid. And this is 29. So for, you know, 50 quid more, you probably get your booklet, um, the novel, a couple of soundtracks. And that's about it. So I'm happy with these. The theatrical cut, director's cut. Uh, extended cut you get special features on here too which is good and it's just in a nice sort of digi pack form instead of the big massive box but really great set for 
um, cool. Two Synapse films here. I picked this up. I saw um, Spooky Astronauts talking about this, and I've never seen it before. I've heard good things. Australian film called A Long Weekend from Synapse Films. This worked out about £18 or something. This was from all that music off eBay too. So yeah, we heard good things about this, guys. Tell me underneath if it is any good, but it sounds good. Australian Outback. It's quite cool and Synapse, they are really good. So that's a long weekend and then I also picked this one up which has been out a while now but I actually finally got a copy. Haven't opened it yet. The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. Another Synapse Films and it's a steel book. And the steel book, if you put in um, The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue steel book in, in um, YouTube it'll come up with unboxings and stuff. This is absolutely one of the best looking steel books I've ever seen. And this worked out, I think on Amazon, about 50, 52 pounds, something like that. So, sealed copy, obviously. Really cool. Can't wait to crack that open this week. Um, this is my most recent one. I've just been, just before I filmed this video, to meet a good friend of mine off here. Jambo Shambo, you know him as. Um, Jamie. So, um, I picked up the Conjuring Steelbook, and this has been out of print a long time, goes for a good bit of money. He's got a nice copy here, mint condition with the J card. Really beautiful Steelbook, guys. Um, he gave me a good deal on this, so thanks a lot for that, mate. Like I say, if you, it's a really nice, like embossed. You can't really see it because it's got the plastic on, but it really is when you when you see it close up, a really nice Steelbook. And there's the house and stuff. And I really do love this film. It's one of the best modern horrors about. I'm not a big fan of uh, Annabelle's and stuff. But The Conjuring 1 and 2 are really terrifying films. The others, Curse of Lala Lona, things like that, I can do without. But these two, The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. So if anyone's got The Conjuring 2 steelbook for sale, a uh, decent price, hit me up. Because I'm after it to go with this one. Never had that one before. I picked up this one because it was like 12 quid. Um, Land of the Dead George A. Romero Never seen this one before I don't Oh yes I have, sorry I thought it was a different one Yeah, great film, I like it Like a zombie film This is the newest edition <clears throat> Universal edition So yeah, 12 quid These two I've been waiting for since oh, About January they kept putting them back because of COVID. They was having troubles with them. Cauldron Films, great company, guys. So I've got, I've got, um, what was it, Abracadabra and American Rixaw, which was the first two titles this company ever bought out. And this is a company run by Jesse, Jesse, Jesse Nelson of Diabolic DVD. He's bought out his own label, and it sells out super quick. And this is uh, number three, Beyond Terror. This one is like a cheesy 80s film with the looks of it. I'm not going to open it up, but look at the art on this, guys. just looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, I suppose it's Italian, and it looks really cheesy fun. Amazing. So that's number three in the series. And I also picked this one, The Crimes of the Black Cat, a Sergio Pastora film. So I haven't watched this one before. I don't know if it's ever had um, a Blu-ray release either. I'm really... Loving these side slip cases that they're doing, and there's that's number four in the series. So, when we get a few of these, get to like part number 20 or something, this is going to look really good on the shelves, guys. I say with these two and the other two, Cauldron Films, check them out, guys. That That's them, they're going to be big, I think. Really good, good exploitation stuff. Uh, this one's from Grindhouse, it's a classic film, Cannibal Holocaust. The nice slip edition. Um, this is uh, unrated and stuff. You can't get it in this country. Amazing release from Grindhouse. I think it was about £26 from the US. Brilliant. If you haven't seen this film. Not for everyone's taste, but I really like cannibal movies. And these Grindhouse editions are amazing. Look at that. And you can get Cannibal Ferox too, which is another one I'm going to have to pick up. Probably my favourite Fulci film, 
is Zombie. Finally got a copy on 4K. Um, like I say, I'm only getting ones of everything. So before I had like Zombie three or four times, but just one 4K copy is um, enough. Especially with this edition, it's amazing. You can't go wrong. Um, and this slip cover actually didn't come with my film. So I got onto a group on Facebook. I, I just got that one and I said, is anyone selling it with the slip cover? And no one come up and this guy come in and said, um, if you get the edition mate without a slip cover, let me know and I'll uh, post it for you for free. So I got in contact with him. Thanks a lot, mate. You know who you are. And um, he posted it out for me. I said, do you want to pay him for it? You know, do you want, I don't know how much it's worth, five quid, ten, whatever. Because I really wanted the slip case. It looks really nice. One of my favourite films. And he said, no, don't be daft. Just send me it out. So thank you. So I've got a slip case to this, which is out of production now, I believe. There it is, two disc set, guys. One of the best zombie films of all time. So these three are my Gates of Hell trilogy from Fulce. This is my go-to choice of editions I wanted. So I was going to get the uh, Gates of Hell from Scorpion releasing, but couldn't pick it up. So I, I opted with this one that I've never had before. And it's the City of Living Dead Steel book from our video. Absolutely beautiful. Got this for about 16, 15 or 16 pounds off eBay. I won it last Sunday. And it's just marvellous. No J card, but it's got the booklet. I did before um, have the City of the Living Dead box set. But, you know, it's not the best quality in the world. The um, picture... So I thought I'm going to go with the steel books. It just looks, look at the artwork here, guys. Fantastic. So that's the one I've gone with, City of the Living Dead. And the Beyond, I've gone with Grindhouse releasing again. Nice, nice slip box like the Cannibal Holocaust. You can get it on the Shameless now, which is not the daff yellow case. It's in the nice clear case, but the sound on that is terrible. And I'm hoping this one is a lot better, I've heard. So there we go, guys, if you want to read that. The Beyond's a great film. Loads of special features on there, too. Three disc set. Um, Glows in the dark as well. I'll have to try and get a picture of that. Just brilliant. So I've got that one. That's about £24. And then uh, uh, The House by the Cemetery Choice is, of course, Blue Underground's 4K. Another, I love this film so much. I love all three of these films. But I think The Beyond... And House by the Cemetery I like more than City of the Living Dead. But each to their own. They're all brilliant. Two disc set again, guys. So I've got those. So that's my choice for Gates of Hell trilogy. If anything goes, if they ever get the Scorpion releasing one of the Gates of Hell, City of the Living Dead, I'll probably just get rid of this one. So no point in keeping two. But this is a beautiful steel book. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So that's my... Gates of Hell trilogy. Last couple now, guys. Getting down them. So I've got the Deluxe Uncensored Director's Cut from Grindhouse releasing. I Drink Your Blood. Classic. If you haven't seen this. Didn't come with a slip box because that sadly sold out. But I got this for about £23. Brilliant sort of fun. <laughs> uh, drug fueled zombie crate i don't know just madness 70s stuff if you haven't seen this guys gruesome 1971 um so i'm really happy with that i know 88 films do it but i went with the grindhouse releasing one i just love that front cover art just brilliant uh last one guys pick this up um because I haven't seen it before. I don't know why I haven't seen it. But it is. The collector's edition from Scream Factory. Of Dawn of the Dead. The remake. And I just haven't got around to watching this before. So I thought. I think it was about £19. I didn't think it was going to come with a slip cover. Off uh, Amazon. And it actually did. I had to open it. It had the cellophane on though. So. The only thing is with the cellophane on these slip covers, that's what I don't like about Screen Factory sometimes. They sort of bend the edges because the slip 
around the slip cover as well instead of it being just around the case and the slip cover over they put cellophane which ruins them a bit but I'm still happy with it uh, two disc set really looking forward to watching this I'm going to watch this tonight I think because um, yeah so I've got a few um, zombie movies this month but like I say I've got absolutely tons of stuff this week it's been about the best week I've had you know for American releases and stuff I just love them so I'm getting my collections coming along now nicely. This week I should have some stuff from Diabolic coming. Diabolic DVD and um, what's the other one? Wow HD. So yeah, this week's pickups guys. Tell me what you think of them. If you've seen any of them. What you think of the American releases and stuff. You know, get in the comments if you want to know anything. I'll try and give you my best opinions. But... Yeah, really loving these videos. Hope you're liking them. I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you all next week. Thanks a lot for watching.